All right, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but <laughs> I thought I would try to rinse her off. And I can't see what you guys can see. Hell. But the whole purpose of a lot of people like to like the idea. Oh, I'm thinking I'm at the kitchen sink. I'm trying to move this off. <laughs> a lot of people uh, be fixated on the idea of silicone being able to get wet, get a bath. Um, and they are so much fun to do that with. Um, but you don't want to put like soap and stuff on them or anything like that. You want to just rinse them off. Mainly, we rinse them off other than when we're in the middle of the painting process. We're, we're rinsing off like um, fuzzies or dust bunnies that they've been just sitting uncovered in a really dusty place for a long time. I don't find that my babies get a lot of... Um, See, she had some polyfill <laughs> that was on her outfit that got stuck to her. But I don't find that my babies get dusty or need to really be um, bathed often. Um, back when um, we used to do a lot of role play with our babies, um, I would do it mostly for that, but I still would usually don't rinse them off, but maybe like once a year. So, Ooh. and then like another thing is if they got any products in their hair, you really want to refrain from washing them in the tub like this unless you, you know, rinse their hair out first. So hold them over the sink for their body. So whatever you use in their hair, don't get on their paint because they, at the end of the day, um, as much as we like to, you know, treat them like real babies, they are um, painted dolls. I don't know what you guys can, oh, you guys can still see. Yeah, they are still painted dolls. So we want to keep that in mind when you're, you know, bathing your babies. I think it's okay though. Um, Definitely, whoever paints your baby, if they tell you do not put their babies in the water, please don't put their babies in the water that they painted because they know what they did. They probably know how their work will hold up in certain conditions. So you want to probably follow them. I can't tell you what to do with other artists' work. Um, I feel quite confident that mine can be rinsed off. Um, but again, um, I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be like a, a everyday thing. Uh -oh. would, I'm trying to make sure when I flip her over that I don't show her bits. Um, it wouldn't be an everyday thing um, for me. So yeah. So yeah, this is just, you know, and it's so, it's actually very relaxing to do it. I, I won't lie. I actually really enjoy giving them a bath whenever I do have to do it, like this type of bath, because silicone looks more real when, <laughs> when they're wet. And that's why a lot of artists take pictures of them wet. They'll do a lot of wet photos and you'll barely find dry photos sometimes because if a baby don't look as good dry, they will still look good wet. So I try to make sure I definitely um, do dry photos and a lot of artists, there's a lot of artists that do, um, but yeah, so I'm going to take her out and I'm going to take you guys off the tripod so you guys can kind of get an idea, see her a little bit. Let's see. Let's, let's get this, this hair presentable. <laughs> Not really presentable, but, uh, cool. Hold on. I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and then I'm gonna turn it off so I can um this is a low quality video as well, so don't judge her too much. But I'm gonna um try to take you guys off without shutting this thing off. I'm gonna come back when I get her. Oh my god. 
match. I can't even take it off. Oh, I'll just wait. Oh, you guys are gonna be able to see me in the Lordy have mercy. Okay, that didn't work out. Hold on, I'll just take a picture. <laughs>